I don't know if you can uh, see that line that I've drawn on the top of this, but uh, all this material has to come off the uh, top and then of course uh, the, the knee on this side has to be reshaped to go back so uh, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of shaping here to uh, to be done so uh, probably use a handsaw to take the bulk of this material off and then use rasps and files to um, do the final shaping. Sawing the waist away from the leg here a little more to go. You don't want to go too far. That's as far as that's as far as the saw is gonna go. We got about an eighth inch more to go, so I have to take it off here, I guess. rounding over the uh, first of the rear legs here and uh, this has to all be taken off of here so that it's flush with the, the panel and there's a this is a paper template that I made that uh, well it would go like this actually so uh, that's okay, but I made a uh, wooden template of it like that so that I could check it all the way down. And it's coming along. There's a high spot right about there. And then, of course, it has to be smoothed over. And then we'll worry about uh, shaping this uh, knee into the side as well. I'm shaping the uh, knee block on the... Uh, odd side uh, the where the 45 degree angle is and uh, I had made one that didn't come out very well and then uh, I had Doug Mulder come over and we uh, chatted about it and he made some suggestions so then I made one out of uh, soft maple that I had laying around the shop and this one uh, fit uh, very well into that shape uh, once it's glued in then you take the the knee and uh, I'll show you how we'll round that over to to meet this knee block so and now I had a pattern and so now I'm doing it with the cherry uh, from a piece that I cut off from the top of the leg so I hope to match the grain uh, very well but uh, essentially uh, I cut it out on a bandsaw the rough shape and it's uh, on the back side here it's cut at a 45 degree angle so that it fits into uh, that shape the shape on the side of the leg and I'll show you how that is when it's done but uh, essentially I take a, a rasp and uh, round it over until this comes to a uh, sharp edge here on the bottom there's a screw in the back of it uh, that holds it in place into in the um, and then it allows me to turn it so that I can get at the at the edge as I work my way around it so uh, that's what I've got to do here well I attached the knee block here and uh, started to round it over and blend it in with the existing uh, knee and then I thought uh, for a shape that I better put the uh, other one on which I just glued on this side which is a standard knee block and um, that way I can sight it from the top and uh, check the uh, overall shape of it it's not too far off uh, of course the side needs a little rounding too but uh, and then that'll have to be uh, blended in there but uh, 
I think this is the uh, this is the wooden shape that it's supposed to be and you can see it sticks out here just a hair but this side's flatter and this side of course is, uh, has more radius to it so uh, it's getting there well I think I got the first knee uh, bracket correct uh, at this point shaped over so uh, it's a lot of work but you can see the uh, there's a line slight line right there but um, as for what I had at first was it was way way out here and too bulbous so I brought it in and then I put the, the other uh, knee bracket on there to uh, so that I could see how it looked uh, balanced this one here is much straighter uh, then of course this one of course this side here is at a at a 45 or you could say this one's the straight one and that one's the 45 doesn't really matter but uh, and I moved the knee over a little bit the center of the knee over a little bit so it's uh, it's pretty good so now I'm going to work on the front ones and then work on the second side well there we have it uh, the knee blocks are on all the way around and uh, they came out pretty good a pair of them on the front here and I used uh, cutoffs from the top of the legs and tried to match the grain uh, to each leg as I went around the uh, most difficult ones were the uh, ones in the back here where it had to be rounded over but uh, that's it and I put in the uh, glue blocks I just cut a piece of uh, 2x6 in the correct way so the grain is running this way in the in the glue blocks so that uh, again you're going to get expansion across the joint here so you, you don't want to use uh, where the grain would be running this direction in the glue block because it would uh, try to hold that in and might crack so the glue blocks are drying and uh, I think we're done with the uh, frame so it's time to start on the top I forgot to mention uh, in the last video I'm thinking that I was done with the frame but I'm not I have got to put the pegs in yet so uh, quarter inch pegs go into the joints here to hold it uh, to help hold it together so uh, you'll see that in the in the next video I'm going to break it off here and uh, but I will work on the and get it pegged before I start working on the top.